your baptism, the fountain of baptism, by the power of the Spirit, give to the water of this bond the grace of your Son. You created man in your own likeness, cleanse him from sin in a new birth to innocence by water and the Spirit. We ask you, Father, with your Son, to send the Holy Spirit upon the water of this bond. May all who are buried with Christ in the death of baptism also rise with him to newness of life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Dear parents and godparents, you have come here to present these children for baptism. By water and the Holy Spirit, they are to receive the gift of new life from God, who is love. On your part, you must make it your constant care to bring them up in the practice of the faith. See that the divine life which God gives them is kept safe from the poison of sin, to grow always stronger in their hearts. If your faith makes you ready to accept this responsibility, renew now the vows of your own baptism. Reject sin. Profess your faith in Christ Jesus. This is the faith of the church. This is the faith in which these children are about to be baptized. I invite everyone to renew their baptismal promises. Do you reject Satan and all his works and all his empty promises? Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, was crucified, died, and was buried, rose from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father? Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? This is our faith. This is the faith of the Church. We are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Is it your will that uh, Ger Garrett and Jaden, excuse me, Julian, Garrett and Julian should be baptized in the faith of the church we have all professed with you? Jarek, uh, what is this name? Aiden. Jarek, Aiden, I baptize you in the name of the Father, <laughs> and of the Son, uh, and of the Holy gold. Spirit. Good <laughs> boy. Okay. We are. I'm in deep. Julian. Julian Ray. Julian Ray, that's right, your name. Yeah, Ray. yeah, yeah. Julian Ray, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, has freed you from sin, given you a new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and welcomed you into his holy people. He now anoints you with the chrism of salvation, as Christ was anointed priest, prophet, and king. So may you live always as members of his body, sharing everlasting life. white garment, the outward sign of your Christian dignity, with your family and friends to help you by word and example, bring that dignity unstained into the everlasting life of heaven. And
second name, Ray, uh, Julian. Huh? Julian Ray. See in this white garment the outward sign of your Christian dignity. With your family and friends to help you by word and example, bring that dignity unstained to the everlasting life of heaven. Receive the life of Christ. Receive the life of Christ. Parents and godparents, this light is entrusted to you to to be kept burning brightly. These children of yours have been enlightened by Christ. They are to walk always as children of the light. May they keep the flame of faith alive in their hearts. When the Lord comes, may they go out to meet him with all the saints in the heavenly kingdom. The Lord Jesus, may the deaf hear and the dumb speak. May he soon touch your ears to receive his word and your mouth to proclaim his faith. To the praise and glory of God the Father. Amen. You have put on Christ, in him you have been baptized. Alleluia, alleluia. Dearly beloved, these children have been reborn in baptism. They are now called children of God, or so indeed they are. In confirmation, they will receive the fullness of God's Spirit. In Holy Communion, they will share the banquet of Christ's sacrifice, calling God their Father in the midst of the Church. In their name, in the spirit of our common sonship, let us pray together in the words our Lord has given us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God the Father, through his Son, the Virgin Mary's child, has brought joy to all Christian mothers as they see the hope of eternal life shine on their children. May he bless the mothers of these children. They now thank God for the gift of their children. May they be one with them in thanking him forever in heaven. In Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. God is the giver of all life, human and divine. May he bless the fathers of these children.